Our topic in this SAGE Pastel Accounting lesson is revision of what is required to complete a bank reconciliation statement. To succeed in this section, you need a thorough understanding of control accounts introduced in Grade 10 and bank reconciliations studied in Grade 11. You will remember that a bank reconciliation is a report prepared by the organization or business to check, identify and explain the differences between the cash balance in a company's accounting ledger and the bank statement balance prepared by the bank. During the process of bank reconciliation, we match and compare transactions between these documents and then, if there's a discrepancy, we find the cause and bring the records into agreement. In today's lessons, we'll remind you of the main reasons for discrepancies and revise what should be done in each case in order to bring the accounts into balance. There are three main reasons you should consider that would explain a difference between the cash book and the bank statement. The first reason could be that the bank has already reflected certain entries on the bank statement that we know nothing about. For example, direct deposits made, stop orders paid, bank charges imposed, interest earned or paid. These are entries that are automatically put onto the bank statement. Therefore, we only get notified of them once we receive the bank statement. So what action should you take? Upon receipt of the bank statements, these entries are immediately recorded in the organization's subsidiary journals so that all entries appearing in the bank statement are also shown in our books. This could be either the Cash Receipt Journal, CRJ, or the Cash Payment Journal, CPJ. So once it has been recorded in our books, we can then say that it has been reconciled because it appears in our books as well as the banks. A second reason for a difference is, of course, we've made deposits or issued cheques that have already been added to or subtracted from the business or organization's bank account, but of which the bank has no knowledge as yet. So what action should we take then? These outstanding deposits and cheques, not yet presented for payment, are shown on the bank reconciliation statement so that we can check in the following month whether the bank has increased or decreased our account accordingly, thus resolving the differences. So if it is something that appears in our books but not the bank's books, then we record it in the bank reconciliation statement table. Our third reason for discrepancies is errors. It could happen that the bank has made a mistake in the bank statement by having wrongly increased or reduced our account. Such a mistake will only be corrected in the following month's bank statement. That is why, after contacting the bank and requesting an amended statement, an entry is made in the bank reconciliation statement to remind us to check next month whether the bank has, in fact, made the correction. Of course, in the following month, you would check that the error has been corrected before you begin the next bank reconciliation. However, errors are not only made by the bank, there could also be errors in the business journals. Checking the bank statement may reveal a discrepancy between the actual amount of a cheque deposited into the bank and the amount recorded in the cash journal. If, for example, the actual amount of the cheque was 3,258 rand and we recorded it in the journal as 3,285, which is 27 rand higher than the actual amount, we say the amount is overstated. We correct this error 
by entering the overstated amount, which in this case is 27 Rand, into our cash receipt journal. If the amount we have entered is less than the actual amount, we refer to it as understated. And we enter the difference into our cash payment journal. So let's summarize. A bank reconciliation is the process we follow at the end of each month whereby we compare our internal records with the external record of the bank, that is, the bank statement, to check, explain and correct any differences and reconcile the balances. The internal documents required for a bank reconciliation are the cash receipt journal, the cash payment journal, bank in the general ledger, and the previous month's bank reconciliation statement. We look in three places for any discrepancies and follow the rules for each. Entries recorded in the bank statement but not recorded in our cash journals are updated in the business's cash journal, either CRJ or CPJ. Entries recorded in the cash journals but not recorded in the bank statement are recorded on the bank reconciliation statement. Errors can be made by the bank on the bank statement or by the business in our journals. If the bank has made a mistake, inform the bank and record it in the bank reconciliation statement. If a cash discrepancy exists between the bank statement and our cash journals, correct the errors in our journals. An overstated amount is entered into CRJ. An understated amount is entered into CPJ. Time now to test what you've learnt in this lesson with a series of multiple choice questions. Each question will appear for five seconds and then the answer will be revealed. Keep a check to see how many you get right. Are you ready? So, how did you do? Remember, the only way to do better is practice, practice, practice. <laughs>